talking about deities and re their relationship to stupas, we actually only have a few that uh, regularly appear in uh, painting or sculpture. We have one human, and then we have uh, several deities, and then we have uh, a kind of a miscellaneous assortment after that. Um, and, and I think it's probably good to divide up the different uh, the different figures into um, how they relate to the stupa, such as uh, as a hand attribute, as a crown ornament, or as an abode or a dwelling place. So for the hand attribute, we really only have one figure um, that comes to mind, and that is the Stavira, or the Lohan, the Arhat Abeda. Abeda holds in the two hands, um, upraised slightly, he holds a, a stupa. He's the only uh, uh, one of the 16 elders to hold a stupa. Um, then we have the crown ornament. Uh, a stupa is a crown ornament, and the most famous uh, figure for this is Maitreya. Um, without the crown ornament, often Maitreya can be mistaken for Avalokiteshvara, as they can also both share the water flask held in the left hand, and they can also sometimes share the Krishna Sara antelope skin over the left shoulder. So it's really the 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 stupa image on the crown of the head that really is a determining uh, uh, factor for identifying Maitreya. Now, another uh, subject for the crown ornament is uh, is a wrathful deity called Rakta Yamari, but only Rakta Yamari from the Drikung Kagyu tradition, and it's a revealed treasure text. And on the crown of the head, he has three stupas. Now, there are other um, Nyingma revealed treasure deities that have the stupa on the crown of the head. I, we do not have them all listed at this point. Now, as for an abode or a dwelling place, well, then we have, um, <clears throat> we have three. We have uh, three figures. We have Marichi, uh, goddess of the dawn or goddess of light. Uh, Ushnisha Vijaya, the crown victorious crown ornament, um, and then we have uh, Vairochana Buddha. Now, this Vairochana Buddha can also be at the center of a stupa with the, the other uh, four symbolic Buddhas uh, surrounding, surrounding him. Now, we have another category here, which is, um, which is just for the abode or dwelling, and that's just miscellaneous deities from the Kathmandu Valley. There are many, many Newar and Shakya rituals to do with stupas, and uh, there can be a very wide assortment of different types of deities that can be placed inside the stupas for both sculpture and painting. We, we see a lot more paintings with these uh, figures at the center of the stupa, and, and they're not always easy to identify. Sometimes they can be Manjushri, sometimes they can be uh, uh, tantric forms of the Buddhas with multiple faces and arms and a consort. There, there's a tremendous variety and it is really quite unique to the Kathmandu Valley. Uh, we do not really find this with uh, Tibetan Buddhism or Himalayan Buddhism of Bhutan or Mongolian Buddhism. Uh, it's really a, a Newar Shakya phenomena um, of the Kathmandu Valley. So, Press the like button, you can subscribe, you can join HAR on Patreon, and more importantly, you can go directly to the Himalayan Art Resources website and make a year-end donation. Thank you.